So right now we're at the Emperor's wife's quarters and it was said that the Emperor at one time had 3,000 wives. How, how pimp is that? The Emperor was a pimp. Places like the Energizer, it just keeps going. It smells very distinctively of, uh, distinctively of, like, this is the oil gas. Like some kind of. What is that smell? It's like some kind of chemically smell. I'm not really sure what it is. It smells like paint thinner. Is there a meth lab anywhere? What's going on? Just kidding. Um, it's like a little walkway of uh, naturally shaped rock. I mean, this is... Now I know why the Emperor chose this place because, I mean, you can't, you can't fake, fake stuff like this, you know what I mean? This is who, this is the correct one. The first day, the wife let his husband sit down here and uh, stir hand head, take her chair. Uh, oh, oh. Punishment. Oh, so she had to balance yeah. a chair on her head? Yeah, the is so sick. For how long? How long? One day. One day she yeah. had to balance a chair on her head. Yeah. For leaving her husband, for leaving the emperor? Yeah, this is our punishment. And the second day, the vet let his husband and, uh, sit under, uh, uh, under, uh, under, uh, under ground. Uh, uh, the head had uh, 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 Oh, so the second day that she had to hold a bowl on her head. Uh, interesting. The third day. The third day? Yeah. The husband kind of bare the wife. And he read under, 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 read under the horse and the rain. But you know, the wife has had a stick and a knife and two red and one to kill him. And oh. Interesting. Yeah, this is crazy. So what he said was uh, one of the emperor wives tried to leave him. So he punished her by making her put a chair on her head for a day, balancing a chair on her head for, the, for uh, a day. And the second day, he was still mad at her. So he made her balance a bowl on, on top of her head. Um, and then on the third day, he was, he couldn't forgive her for leaving him, so he left her, and then she chased him and tried to kill him with a knife. It's yeah. a pretty interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The history, history, they, they've got thousands of years on us. It's remarkable. The Forbidden City is perfect everywhere. The detail is perfect. Yeah. So this is, this is, a, this is the whole that Emperor, Emperor lived there, so everything is perfect. So he, he's saying that, um, you know that uh, everything is was built to perfection in uh, the pal here at the Forbidden City, 
and that he wanted everything perfect, including his wives. So as he was saying, the emperor wanted everything perfect in his palace, and I want you guys to check out every one of these shingles has an etching of a dragon on the end of it. And then below, you can see that each one of these little pieces was painted by hand. The emperor wanted everything perfect in his palace. And if you guys could see his garden right now, in the way that I'm seeing it, I mean, it's perfection. Uh, I could, again, I can only imagine how it was when um, he was here. And if you check out again, once again, I want to point out those cement heads on there each have a hole going through the mouth so that the water beautifully pours out of it. It's amazing. Wow. Now you guys can't see, I know you guys can't see this on the camera, but each one of those is painted. Oh. Yeah. A little tidbit about the emperor in uh, the Forbidden City. Um, all the men in the city were eunuchs, except for the emperor. I thought that was kind of interesting. I guess he was kind of a player of hating on all the other guys. Rubbing it, baby. Uh, the cheating can. 